Uh, in partnership today, Slough will be helping raise awareness and fundraising for uh, the fantastic local charity that is Thames Hospice. Uh, and as a, as a mark of recognition of that, they will also be wearing a special uh, green kit this afternoon as well. Again, surely, because the sides are now just entering the field of play, uh, Slough looking lovely in that all green strip, of course. And it's actually Bath City who today are wearing uh, kind of almost like an amber and uh, navy kit too, which is quite interesting. Uh, so let's start um, with the teams this afternoon and the, the Rebels line up uh, is here. It's Dan Lincoln and Gold, of course. Uh, captain today is Josh Jackman, uh, followed by Dan Bayliss, Jamal Prosper, who is uh, he's returned after he had his family personal reasons, has been out away for uh, I think it's about 10 days or so. Uh, shortly followed by the man of the moment at the minute, David O'Connor, uh, three goals in his last three games. Uh, he'll be looking to get back on the score sheet again, followed by Matt Lynch, Johnny Goddard, Leon Chambers Perillon, Scott Davis, Temir Wecker, and Slavi Sparzov. Uh, and on the bench this afternoon is Joe Dandy, Nathan Minas dropped to the bench, Christy Ward also dropping to the bench, Ollie Spicer, uh, and a surprise appearance for Hugo Sobzi on the bench. Not quite sure why. Could be because uh, Southall perhaps had their game uh, washed off this afternoon. Uh, and then the Bar City lineup this afternoon is uh, Jose Casagrande on the in goal. Uh, followed by Joe Rains, Jack Batten, uh, Jordan Dyer, Kieran Parcell, captains the away side, uh, Ewan Clark, Dan Hayfield, Cody Cook, Tom Smith, Scott Wilson and Luke Russ. Uh, and on the bench, it's only three substitutes today for Bar City um, due to a, a, just a lack of players and a, a few injuries rummaging around the side. Uh, the three substitutes then are Elliot Freer, Chris Lines and James Alabi. As a... Uh, Ross Kemp, uh, a special guest this afternoon, takes a picture out on the pitch there with the team. And uh, Bath City defence there, just flipped up into the air by Cody Cook, getting his first touch of the afternoon, and the foul's just been awarded against Bath. Uh, I believe that was by uh, Luke Russ there or Matt Lynch. And Lynch tries to take it very quickly and puts it through to Sparzov, who's touched down brilliantly. And for the third game in a row, Slough scored inside the first minute of the game. That is unbelievable again. There must, there must be some sort of tactics behind this from, from Scotty, because absolutely bizarre that a team not only scores once in the first minute of a game, to do it then three times. Makes its way into the middle and falls to the feet of Leon. Then gets across to Jamal, who's now found Johnny Goddard on his left-hand side, trying to drive down the left. It's a great ball in. It's going to fall to David Bono. It's a great save there from Casa Grande. It's followed up, though, again by header by Slavi spars off and that's back with Slough again now Josh Chapman gets it across to Obono who can have a chance of running at one of the fence there it's just slipped off his feet though oh and a heavy pass back to the keeper there and spars off there puts a little bit of pressure not too much into six minutes already here on the park uh, third corner coming in now from Matt Lynch towards the back area and it's headed down I think there by Dan, ba Dan Bayliss and I think again the keeper just pushes out it's a bit of a scramble now in the box an attempt at an over a kick there, and it looked like a, a foul in the end on the goalkeeper. So the corner kick comes in, it's lofted towards the back here. There's a free header there for uh, Kieran Parcell, the captain. Really, he should have done a lot better with that. So fans behind that goal now, just trying to bring in a little bit of atmosphere. Kill a drum in the background as David Obono now gets possession of the ball just inside the box. It's been dragged and forced out a little bit there. Needs some support on this right-hand side. Lays it back to Chambers Prillon. That puts the ball into the area on the bounce. Goalkeeper's been caught out here as he's punched it down. Johnny Gard just couldn't get the ball out of his feet quick enough to Josh Jackman to his right-hand side to have a strike at goal. Potentially a little bit of a let-off there. It's just dealt with now by Wecker. Good ball up towards Sparzov. He touches it down fairly well and allows it to uh, be taken on by Matt Lynch. Tries to send Obona down the right side again. Again, a bit of a scruffy clearance there by the goalkeeper. It's falling to the feet of Johnny Goddard, who tries a left-footed strike towards the bottom corner. And he scores his 15th goal of the season. No chance the goalie was getting to that. Brilliant. Turned there from Johnny, and he stops it in the bottom left. Yeah, we said, didn't we, the goalkeeper didn't seem quite comfortable in this game. And it has to be said that the, the goals really come from him in the end. Fantastic finish, though, in the end by Johnny Goddard keep defensively stable for the next 15. Yeah, it's Prosper there, just kind of mistimes his header. It's now Tom Smith gaining control of the ball in the box. He's got a lot to do, though, as he's got a couple of slough men on him. 
tries to put a ball in the box, which Dan Bayliss is now being pressured on. Poor defending by the, uh, the centre-back there, and luckily from him, uh, Cody Cookie robbed him of possession there, sort of took a snapshot, and it was uh, fairly off target, I think we'll say there, taken by Josh Chapman up towards Slavy Spars. I'm just trying to put himself around there a little bit in front of the two or three Bath City players. Doesn't quite win it for Slough, as a Bath again try and create like a half chance a ball over the top though from Dan Bayliss has fed through Slavi he's got, got tons of space in front of him tries to be smart with it and just trying to he was trying not to be greedy there. I yeah. think he sort of saw Johnny coming in and sort of thought do I pass it do I not final man it's now back with the Bar City goalkeeper plays a short to Batten oh it's a bit of a hospital pass there to Luke Russ and stolen away by Johnny Goddard's fallen to David Abona who tucks it away underneath Jose Casagrande. And he does his sensational backflip again. <laughs> Another backflip. It's a fourth goal in four games for him as well. And a not very happy Jerry Gill down here. It's, it's a shocking bit of play again though, isn't it? It's, you could kind of see it coming really because the, the first pass initially from the keeper to the defender was a bad enough pass as it was, but to then play it into the midfielder who was surrounded by slouch shirts. Kind of hit that point, don't you, in a team where maybe they're a little bit jaded, a little bit fatigued, where such a small squad have had to play so many games, although might be a chance now on for Bath. It's a bit of poor play from Matt Lynch. Scott Wilson tries to get a ball across the area. Brilliant tracking back there from, from Bayliss after losing the ball. Yeah. So picked up again by Ewan Clark with a, a cheeky back here, which has actually opened up some space for Bath. It's Tom Smith now racing forward, but he's just had his pocket pit there by Leon Chambers Peril on really well, recovering. That's a fantastic pass as well into the feet of Johnny Goddard. He's got David Obono on his right in space. It's played it to him. Obono in the box. It's a great strike towards goal. It's followed up by Slavi Sparza, and it's 4-0 to Slav before half time. Actually, unbelievable. I don't quite. Uh, what is going on, Connor? I really don't understand where this Bath City force <laughs> has come from. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lost for words a little bit, but I th it's, it, I'm seeing a bit of a trend now in the last two goals we've seen. Defensively, Bath just don't look... They just, they just, they just kind of tactically aware, I guess, a little bit, because, again, David Pond had so much space to the right of Johnny Goddard. It was clear where the, uh, the path was for Slough to kind of attack the Bath City goal. Pops up at all in the second half. He's a it's kind of due one, isn't he? It's been a while since he scored a free kick. I think it was the Bath City one that was the last for Scott Davis. Obonna now on the right-hand side. Low ball in. It actually hits the feet of Spars off, but he just couldn't quite get it out of his... Bit of a chant for Dan Bayliss now going on. I think we can tell who the fans want to see. Scorers, Prosper gets on the end of that ball in from Lynch. Just couldn't quite fully direct it towards goal. An opportunity here with a free kick from around about 25 yards from goal. Now it's going to be... Dan Hayfield to strike. It's just over the uh, quick throw. Uh, free kick here from Slough. Yep, it's not quite cleared away properly. Obono strikes towards goal. It's a great low save down to the left post there by uh, Casa Grande. As uh, Lynch follows up with a, an awkward attempt himself, it kind of just hits the Bath City man there. And it might actually be a break on now for Bath as it's fed to Cody Cook. He's got player opposite side it's a brilliant through ball through to Ewan Clark Lincoln comes out he's dicked it over him and Bath City do get a goal back it's a brilliant break by them and might that start to make things a little bit interesting as Jerry Gill actually is continuing to uh, kind of aim abuse I guess towards the linesman And that's um, and uh, just many other goals around the league for now. As it comes down the, the right again for Bath City. Yeah, so that's Ewan Clark there. He's just gone down as well off the ball. We're clearly feeling something there. And uh, Snell might be on here for another attempt at goal at least. As Sparzov heads it through for Goddard. A low strike with a left foot from him. And uh, it's comfortably saved. But I'm surprised Bath might not stop here because their man, Ewan Clark, is still down. Looks, Bath looks is still coming forward though. Looks in a bit of pain here. So with Cody Cook now just on the edge of the Slough box, going to cut in with his right foot. It's a great strike towards the top hand corner there. It just flashes over the bar. Grown into the game massively, second off. Um, Bath as the ball comes in. Yeah, throw it into flicked on. Another strike towards goal. And it is 4 2. Aid behind me is claiming it was a handball. I didn't quite see it myself, but. 
Bath will now say they are very much well and truly back into this game, and Slough really need to uh, need to wake up a little bit here because it's been a, a poor, poor 10-minute spell. This see that's kind of set Bath away again. Uh, it's a poor pass across though to his right-hand side, trying to feed Joe Reigns, and it's just rolled out for the goal kick. And uh, oh, is there something? Yeah, there's something that's now stopped the game. Is something in the uh, crowd? Yeah, it looks like there might be a medical emergency now in the crowd, in the slough half of the crowd. Yeah, the game's been waved away to kind of stop for a minute so that medical staff can now actually enter the, uh, the stand to our right. Uh, out to the ambulance. He does look okay though, he is sort of... Yeah, he's awake there, awake. I can see he was conscious, so... Good to see. Hopefully, we wish the best for him and hopefully his situation. Are they playing on or are they improved shortly? Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has decided that the game will be abandoned. And uh, there we go then. We've had just confirmation out on the tunnel. Scott Davis is below us by the tunnel, shaking his head. Uh, so I think we can probably tell what's probably happened here this, uh, this evening. And uh, the match has been abandoned by the referee. Yeah, they are now. The Slough team are coming back onto the field to applaud the support that has come out today. It's been a brilliant attendance here, over 1,400 this afternoon in support of the funding and awareness that Slough have done today uh, for Thames Hospice Charity. Uh, they've, they've worn a, a, what is a one-off kit for the game. That's a fantastic green kit they've been wearing. And uh, that's an also interesting point. We're going to have to wear this kit again as well. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just, um, I'm just a, I, yeah, I, I, think, I think I feel as everybody else does, I feel that's just an, an unjust decision. Yeah, it's, it's an absolutely baffling decision. 